there. Welcome to another dose of Dr. Debbie. You know, today I just want to talk about giving. And, you know, what I've noticed is so often we're so consumed with our own pain, with our own trauma, with our own crisis. And I get it. It's been a painful experience or something you didn't see coming happened. And it, it absolutely throws you. One of the healthiest ways I found to get out of it is through giving. Now I know you're thinking, what the heck, Debbie? I don't have anything to give. I'm in so much pain, so much trauma, but there's something about it. It just, it doesn't have to be big. It can be something so small, but sometimes it's enough to pull you out of your own thoughts and your own pain enough as you just help and support someone else. It doesn't have to be big at all. It could be a small little random act of kindness. You know, you, you pay for someone's coffee behind you online. You hold the door open for someone. You give someone a compliment. It doesn't matter. But when we set an intention just to just to do these small random acts of kindness or, or just help somebody in some way, it actually is more helpful for us than it is for the other person. It boosts the immune system. It gets you out of your painful thoughts, even if just for a while, and it can be so helpful. It's also one of the biggest reasons why uh, we started our charity program. We have within the PBT Institute, uh, Post Betrayal Transformation Institute, we have a charity program. And every month, uh, a portion of the first month of everyone's membership goes towards charity. Every month, we also choose a member of the month, just somebody who's working hard, doing the work, showing up. The member of the month decides to which charity, once we choose the member of the month, decides to which charity those funds go. Or they can choose to offer a scholarship for someone who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford the community. What I love about it is, here, a member who's just working hard and healing from their own betrayal because of their hard work, they're helping support. We have supported the most amazing charities that I never would have known about if we didn't institute this program. Uh, domestic violence and, and um, just uh, women and children and animals. And we have, we have really uh, supported so many uh, incredible organizations through this program. And I, and I specifically asked the members, let's not, uh, not that we don't want to support the big charities, but they're getting so much attention. How about all those incredible foundations and organizations that you wouldn't know about otherwise? And, uh, and it's been an incredible experience. Or like I said, they can choose to donate a scholarship for a month for someone who otherwise couldn't afford it. So it, it helps them feel so great their work is is allowing for us to support a charity. It makes me feel great because it it introduces me to organizations I never would have known about. And our little micro donation is just offering some bit of good there. So it's it's good all around. And so I invite you to consider what can you do, whether it's and a random act of kindness, whether it's supporting a charity, whether it's just giving a compliment to someone to boost your mood, make you feel better, improve and, and you know, your immune system. What can you do to uh, just to make the world a little bit better? I mean, you know, we are in some trying times here. And uh, if everybody just does a little bit to serve the greater good, we're headed in the right direction. So I hope this inspires you just to do something and it doesn't have to be big, it can be something small. Uh, if this serves and if, if uh, you're enjoying the podcast, please share it with, uh, with your friends, share it with anybody who's struggling to heal from betrayal or a life crisis of, of any kind. And um, so many things I can, I can offer you, but one is my book, Trust Again, which literally walks you through the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough. They are proven, they are predictable, and the book walks you through with experiential exercises so you can move from one stage to the next. And to get that along with all the goodies that goes with it, go to the PBT as in post betrayal transformation, the PBT institute.com forward slash trust again. Thanks so much. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye.